Hey folks, Mr. Dell here. Uh, we are looking at um, algebra tiles, uh, but in this case, looking at finding perimeter and area of algebra tiles. So we could utilize them and find the expression. So we want to write expressions of algebra tile, expressions for area and perimeter of the algebra tiles. But as well then, partly utilize given values and then find those uh, calculate them, calculate the actual given uh, value, given uh, based on a given value, the actual areas and, and perimeters. So let's read it. Oh, this is a CPM and it's course two. And this is section uh, 5.2.3. So we'll read this question together on your paper. Sketch the algebra tile shape shown at right. Write an expression for area and perimeter of the shape. Then calculate area and perimeter of the shape for each of the given x values here. So first of all, let's let's sketch this so we can see um, what we're what we're dealing with. I'm going to re-sketch it so I can make it bigger and write all over it. So we have three of these, and what are these called? There are little x's in them. So what does that tell me? That those are there. Those are the x tiles, right? An x tile basically means you have a uh, a distance of x on one side and a one on the other. And then these little ones here, so there's two of them alongside and one of them there. So those are the unit tiles. And a unit tile is, is an area of one. So each of those has an area of one. And then the edges are all length one, right? They're one by ones. And so if we look now, I can add my lengths. We know that this is one, this is one, and that's one, right? So the whole thing, and I'll show it here, the whole thing from there to there is three because each of the edges of an X tile are one. And then the um, edges on the unit tile are one as well. So that's length one, that's length one, this is length one. What's Now what's unique here is that length right there from here to here to figure that one in terms of X gets a little tricky, right? Because we know the whole thing from here to is X, right? That's X. But if I look from here to here, this is two inside. From there to there's two. So really what I have is what's left is, is X minus two. That's what's left. So that length is X minus two. It's the whole X minus the two that got covered up there. Okay. So if I'm going to, if I'm going to write now the perimeter, We'll start with perimeter. Perimeter is the distance on the outside, right? So it's it's x plus, I can go one, two, three, three plus, and then this is the x minus two plus, what do I have? One, two, three, four, five, six, plus another three is nine. See what I just did there? So I added the one, two, three, four, five, six, plus three is nine. So that that's my perimeter uh, written out in expanded form, but I can actually also simplify this. I can see that there's two X's and then I can do the math here and say, well, there's three minus two is one, one plus nine is 10. So the simplified version of the perimeter is two X plus 10. So then area, what is area? Area is the stuff inside, right? So that's the area. If you you already know that the name of the algebra tile, in this case, the name of this tile is the X tile, is the area. So this area is X, one times X, X. The area of this tile is X. The area of that tile is X. So how many X tiles are there? There are three X tiles. And then the unit tiles all have an area of one, right? One by one, area one. So there's one, two, three of those. So the area is three X plus three. It's, it's the really, you name the tiles and count them up. So there's my area and perimeter. Okay, now for part A, B and C, they want us to utilize these numbers and um, plug them in. So I can actually put that nine in here and do the, do the math within the figure, or I can do the math within my expressions. So for A, I have my perimeter is equal to what? 2x plus not 10. But what they want me to do for A is use x equals 9 centimeters. So for A, they want me to use x equals 9 centimeters. So I'm going to take my perimeter. I'm going to plug in 9 into where x is. So the perimeter is equal to 2 times 9 plus 10. 
and 2 times 9 plus 10, 2 times 9 is 18, 18 plus 10, that equals 28. So my perimeter is equal to 28 centimeters for A, given that X equals 9. So what about area? Area, remember the expression for area was 3X plus 3. And again, I'm using 9 for the X, so it's going to be 3 times 9 plus 3. I did that. 3 times 9 is 27, and 27 plus 3 is 30. So it's 30, and then we're talking about area, so it's going to be, in this case, centimeters squared. So there's my answer to A. So B says, uh, it says to X equals um, 5 tenths centimeter. Then it says, hint, draw, diagram, does your perimeter expression work? Hmm, so x equals 0.5 centimeters. So if x equals 0.5 centimeters, there's a problem with that, isn't there? That's why they want us to do that hint. So if I look at my b, if x is 0.5, so they were saying x is 0 0.5. Well, how can that length there be 0 0.5 minus 2? Right? Something's not right there, is it? Because if X was just 0 0.5, then that wouldn't exist, and that would be over what it would be. So there's a problem with that one. So I don't, I'm don't. i going to say for that one, um, there's no solution for this situation because um, – There, there's no solution because it, there, there wouldn't, it wouldn't work, right? So we have 0 0.5 minus 2, which would give us a negative 1.5. So for B, um, I'm just going to write no solution. Uh, and then I'll just say uh, um, figure does not exist with x is equal to 0 0.5 okay all right so then c let's do c let's think about c c says x is equal to 15 centimeters so c x equals 15 centimeters so again i'm going to plug in 15 into my two expressions so for my perimeter 2x plus 10 i'm going to say it's 2 times 15 plus 10, which gives me 30, plus 10, which is 40 centimeters. All right, and then area, the expression is 3x plus 3. And again, I plug in 15 into the x, so it's 3 times 15 plus 3. Oops, do that again. So that's 45 plus 3, which is 48 and this time area so it's 48 centimeters squared all right folks there you go